All right, Ryan, thank you. Well, the Reno Rodeo Foundation is hosting their annual denim drive to collect denim clothes for people in need here in northern Nevada. Here to tell us more about the event, we have Clara Andriola from the Reno Rodeo Foundation. She's the executive director. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. This is such a big fundraiser for children in need in our community. First of all, tell us, what is the denim drive for our viewers at home who don't know, and what types of items are collected? Well, the denim drive supports um, over... 1,350 children throughout 14 counties in Nevada. They're neglected, abused, and abandoned children, and they're unfortunately always coming in to mm -hmm. the system. So we provide new clothing, new jeans, shirts, pants, if you will, through the jeans, underwear, infant and toddler clothes are also items. We supply only new clothing. I love that. And in covering the story for years now, some of these children are taken out of their home in the middle of the night with nothing but the clothes on their back, most oftentimes pajamas. So it's things that we take for granted, your basic socks, your underwear, right. your pair of jeans, your shirts. If people want to donate, where's the best place to go and how long is the denim drive running? Well, today is the beginning of the launch okay. and we go through December 16th. And as you said, we really need these items for these kids who have gone through unimaginable circumstances. Mm -hmm. They can actually go online to renorodeofoundation.org. There's over a hundred drop-off locations. You can also go online and donate financially, and then our volunteers will actually shop throughout the year for those items that we need. And if I'm not mistaken, these locations, they're just boxes that are set up, bins that are set up, and you can just easily just drop the clothing in there. Yes. I mean, we couldn't do this without the Reno Rodeo volunteers. Mm -hmm. They're so dedicated, and they drop off all the boxes, and they pick up all the clothes, and we actually distribute them. So we really want to thank them as well. And Claire, what kind of impact do these items have on those young children? You know, it's more than clothes. The fact that these children are given a new pair of clothes mm -hmm with those basic needs means a lot. It, it creates a really positive um, sense of a frame of mind with, you know, a self-esteem and really builds that self-worth as they go through their journey through foster care. Absolutely. You know, we've been talking about random acts of kindness throughout the show for several weeks now. So while you're out and about, see if there's a, a pack of socks that you can get. Make a donation. Every time you're out at the store, if you can, just get one of those items to help a child in need. Yeah, and there are, uh, there's actually donation bins at all three malls as well. Oh, perfect. Yes. All right. Well, Claire, thank, thank you so you. much for thank coming you on so to talk much. about it. Again, thank runs you. through December 16th. Bill, over to you. All righty. Thank you.